Hey guys, so today I'm going to um, start something new. I just want to see what the hype is about with these products here because a lot of gardeners on YouTube and on Instagram they're like, oh my god, put azomite. Azomite on everything is awesome. And then with the same company um, they have this starter mix here and I really, really, really want to test it out. So let me just be clear, I am not being sponsored by this company. Sometimes I wish I am so I can get some money or some free product, but um, this is just for the love of gardening and just to be, I guess, a little informative for myself. So I got these guys, these Asian black sugar cane from a fellow garden friend on Instagram, um, Farmer John. He was so kind to give me three cuttings so I can do this trial here. In one pot, I'm going to mix regular potting soil with this starter mix here. And in another pot, I'm going to mix, again, potting soil with this azomite. And in another pot, I'm just going to use straight up compost. So we'll see what's going to do better. All right, let's start. So right, let's mix up the uh, starter mix here. Oh, wow, this looks like chicken food or something. And then the azomite. Okay, so a lot of people that I saw on YouTube who um, started sugarcane in a pot or in water or whatever, they like to put it sideway like this but um I've seen these guys being sold in the store and they were stand up straight like this or stand up right like this so I'm gonna go ahead and stand them up like this instead of laying them flat down sideway all right so I'm gonna strand them up straight put this guy I don't know Oh, decisions. So I guess I'm going to go with the compost with this guy. I don't want to come up too much. And this guy is going to go in the azomite. And this is the biggest piece that I have. Oh, and yeah, stand him up. Make sure the notches are pointing upward. Um, this guy is going to go in the starter mix. So again, all the shoots go upward. Don't do it like this because it's gonna, well, it's not gonna be so good. Oh, I think I might have to add some more potting soil to this guy. All right, folks, and don't forget to label um, because that's really important. Um, that's the one thing that I always forget to do. I'll start something and then I forget to label it. And then I'm like, oh crap, when did I start it? Or what is it? So label it, date it. Even though the date's not on here, I'm going to um, put the date on this video so I can remember when I started these guys. So the starter mix. That was the first one. So yeah, I almost forgot already. Azomite and the compost. Again, I'm not being sponsored by this company because I don't want people to think that I'm doing this video because I'm being sponsored or paid. Um, I'm doing this just solely for educational purposes. Um, and I really want to see my garden thrive and, and I want to use whatever that's, well, it's just, yeah, trial and error. Trial and error. That's pretty much it. All right, guys. So here's a little update on these uh, sugar canes here that I um, put in the pot last Tuesday, June the 27th. And this guy right here, it's just um, potting soil mixed with the seed starter. And, well, guess what? It sprouted like four days ago. And look at this. It's awesome. It's like five five inches or or so 
it's amazing. Now the one with the azomite mixture and potting soil, nothing came out yet besides the roots. Um, the same thing for the just the plain compost. But I have faith in these guys. I'm gonna give it hopefully by next week for something to shoot up. But hey, one out of three, I'm pretty lucky. All right, peace out.